You're just going to stand there and allow her to do this to me? This is going too far, Samantha. Oh, it's not nearly far enough. You hear that? She's going to call for backup. And you had better talk before I hear sirens or they're going to walk in and find your dead body. Clyde said that you told him that Will was still alive and that you knew it to be true because you had revived him. How is that possible? He showed up at the hospital, DOA. I was in the morgue with his dead body. When did this intervention happen? Or is this just some scam you and Stefano are pulling? Say something! All right, I'll say something. After all you have been through in your life, you should know. Things are not always as they appear. God, I love the show. God, I still want to go. How? Who we told him? Why? Because she assumed that he already knew. And then he came down and demanded that I fire Nicole from her position. Is that why you quit so abruptly and left town? Nicole left her job at that center. I didn't think that it was right or she deserved to be punished because of my feelings for her. You know, that was a really foolish thing for Brady to do. Brady came down there. He said everything that he could think of to make me feel bad. And I'm pretty sure that he did the same thing to her. You can't expect for Brady to be to be happy that Nicole wants to leave him for you. And no matter what he says to her, he can't stop her from, from wanting to be with you. Yes, no. I talked to Nicole. This this was her decision, and I'm I'm so sorry. You know what? I appreciate you just being so straightforward with me. Just that all my dreams came true. But they morphed into the nightmare in the same day. So what we need to do is get you out of here. And we need to leave all of these memories behind. And you need to come home. To Salem. But I, I saw the divorce papers. They're fake. No divorce goes through that quickly. I would think you'd know that, given the number of times you and I have gone through it. I thought Victor had connections. You know, you played your part so convincingly, I was upset. Justin, you were wonderful in your part, too. How could you do this to me, Justin? Were you in on this, too? No. Hey, me neither. You know, if I were you, I would stop trying to play the injured party. You don't really pull it off too well. Don't you get all high and mighty on me. You're the one who tried to kill your brother. Uh, tell me! No one here has a problem with that. When Victor told me, I certainly did. And I still do. But he's my husband. And I love him. And I'm going to stand by him. You didn't keep your end of the bargain, sir. If you think I'm going to keep my mouth shut, you got another thing coming. Well, talk to whoever you want to. Nobody's going to believe you. They'll believe Xander now, won't they? Oh, now there's the problem. What? 
Well, you see, the whole divorce and wedding thing was all part of a stall. We had to make sure that Xander was uh, neutralized. You got him roped out? Oh, no, no, he's alive and well. His sentence was miraculously commuted, though. And he's free as a bird. Vanished in a puff of smoke. Just like your leverage.